What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be messing around with our Steam Deck OLED. By messing around, I mean we're going to put Oculink porn on it. Um, but before we do anything, we need to make sure that Chimera OS runs on the OLED, which it should. I'm going to pull this SD out now before I forget. Always pull your SD card out. Because we need to make sure Chimera will run on this thing. Because if not, then there's no point of doing this. So if we can confirm that, then we'll be all right to start hacking. This is Chimera right here. It's on this USB-C. Um, highly recommend using USB Type-C flash drive. This is USB 3.1. This is about 4,000 megabits. If you're using dongle and a two and a half inch drive or even an NVMe, it's 500 to 600 megabits. This, it's about 200 megabits faster than this potentially, but I haven't noticed a difference between this one and this one. So I highly suggest using these under $20 on Amazon, 128 gigs, enough for your OS and, and a game like Helldivers 2. So we should see two hard drives. So the hard drive, our one terabyte, and then the type C. Everything should just boot normally. Okay, download configurations and updates. This might take a while. Okay, cool. So it looks like Chimera is running. We're at 50, 15% battery life. Um, that means we can easily pull this SSD now. This is actually gonna be a simple mod. This is Chimera OS real quick. It looks just like a Steam. It really is. It's pretty much the same thing. No real difference. Um, and so, it, that I can tell. Um, one thing I do notice that um, is the, some of these settings don't work. So like right here, this is the, the biggest thing about it. Like if you're trying to manual clock your GPU, you can't. TDP limits, maybe, yeah, that works. But definitely the GPU clock thing does not work anymore on Chimera like it does in SteamOS. So that's the one thing for sure I've, I've figured out that doesn't work. And things don't work as well too in big picture mode versus this. Um, this is just the Steam Deck thing. But that's not what this is about. Let's power this thing down. You'll notice that everything looks pretty much the same. Now we gotta try to take this case off without pressing this damn button. Come on, give it up. All right, these screws are not Phillips heads. They're they're star drives, and I think it was like an eight or something, eight or seven. Yeah, seven. All these screws are the same length, I believe. They're all the same length now. I like that. It was pretty hard to mix them up before, but you know it's foolproof now. And you go tack it from this corner. That's it. Pretty simple. If you go attack it slowly and go around, it's not that big of an issue. So I forgot about this. So this is the controller right here, this cable. I believe this is this ribbon cable. Stupid, because they should have routed it the other way around. We're gonna need to remove it. I believe this is a flip. Right. Slowly pry this adhesive off behind the APU. These are very tiny screws. Okay, so there's our SSD right there. Um, ugh. Okay, and if you ask me, what kind of survey says uh, micron okay it's not Samsung micron micron's fine uh, this is the BIOS chip right here underneath we're not messing with the BIOS so plus I didn't back this BIOS up but I know how to pull the BIOS if I ever mess it up so I'm not too worried because I'm not doing any overclocking on here if I was I would definitely uh, back up the BIOS this this um, this board looks so much cleaner than the other one let's take the other one apart part quite often You can see the difference there. Huge difference. This will fit in here too. This will fit almost perfectly. The only thing I think is different is these outside standoffs are longer. I'm not gonna, I'm not modding. We're not, we're not making a new backplate. We're not doing that. We're not making backplates. We do a mod that is easy for anyone to do. So, notice that this one doesn't have a heat shield. That's why they, we had a fan. Um, we're gonna keep the heat shield on this other one though. Um, we do have a MOSFET underneath. Um, we look at this one there's n look at this there's nothing in this thing so technically we don't even need to put this thing back on technically none of these components are getting pr cooled by this backplate they're all just more robust more heavy duty so we technically don't even need to put this thing back on so i'm i'm okay with that if you're okay with it i'm gonna just raw dog it before i do anything though man this connector scares the crap out of me and considering that these things have 
increased in price quite a bit. I think we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna fortify this thing with a little bit of super glue before we put it in. Super glue is non conductive, right? Let me double check that. Is super glue conductive? I love super glue. Oh, and I always splooge it. Ugh. We're gonna have to route this thing on top. We're not, remember, we're not putting this thing back on. I'm just really pop this bad boy on here. It's a little bit more complicated with the LCD, guys, just because that heat shield is active cooling for the SOC. Now close the door shut. Yeah, there you go. So that should just close no problem. Problem is now you'll see that. Let's get dirty. So we're about here. Okay, so now let's try to time to hack this thing up. I'm gonna try to do this with no tools. I have a Dremel, but some, now some of you guys don't have a Dremel. So I figured if I could do it without tools, most of you probably don't have needle nose pliers or, or, or crimpers, but you know, you don't have to buy anything specialty. We're just gonna use this. Look at this. So these are just some wire cutters. I'm just gonna use it, send it. I'm just trying to hook up a graphics card to my OLED. That's it. So this mesh screening is going to be a bit of an issue. I'm just going to go ahead and we need to cut this th this mesh somehow. So a lot of you probably don't have something like this really needlepoint, but you do. You could just use whatever, whatever gets it done. Getting it in there and then sending it. Definitely don't want bits of metal flying into your steam deck, so it's probably to Put it away and don't be like me. Any spare bits? All right, let's see. Did we do enough? Almost enough. You have to take just a little bit off on the edges and then we're good to go. That was a cool, quick funny thing. Um, so a lot of people are worried about storage when doing this mod. It's like, how many games are you playing? Okay, if you worried about storage that much, how many games are you playing? And how many of those games have, have that you've downloaded have you played i guarantee i i play more games than anyone only because i just use it for testing i don't play play the game i just use it for testing but look at that there you go oculus port. this steam deck has an oculus port all right so we're gonna have to throw this dongle on here things easier our OS. We are gonna switch camera camera position. I don't really like to film like this because I can't see anything. But we'll try. Cool. We need display. Put away everything we don't need. Uh, so that thing just needs some power. And if you want to know how to build one of these, I'll link the video. This is just for the keyboard. Maiden Voyage. So we're going to boot into BIOS. So minus uh, plus button, power button. Heard the chime. That's a good sign. Um, we should see fans kicked on. We got display here. So display is not going into here to there. So that's a problem. We should be getting... It's turning on, but it's not working. So let's power it back down. Let's go to boot manager. We're going to open up type C. There's a good possibility this was not just just not gonna work and we just cut a hole for no reason but you know the issue is the graphics card's not kicking on so what we should be seeing is an external this display should kick on so the question is is why is it not turning on real test is when we go to desktop mode so we got display here okay so everything is working um let's get on this wi-fi real quick so it doesn't seem like the wi-fi is working out of the gate like it was before okay so wi-fi is not working so we can still do LAN. so let's go to let's go to desktop mode okay so i don't see any other displays here so let's go damn this oled screen looks so dang good it looks like everything's running fine here um, we got one fan spinning on the graphics card, which I don't think is a good sign because it should be no fan spinning. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna power down. You, oddly enough, this thing boot no problem. We need, we might need have to go into the BIOS real quick and then unlock this M.2 port. It should display onto this monitor, and I think it might do it right there. We might not have connected it all the way. So we're getting no display, no display, which is weird. 
I would assume we'd get display out of one of the devices. There's no display. Okay, we got display out of here again. Okay, so let's go to setup utilities and maybe there is a setting. This is very weird. Typically it would it would just post. At least get a display for the BIOS. So there's something going on. So only thing I can think of doing now. The the real hard thing when you're doing things like this is just there's so many chains. You know, there's like this and at any at any point there could be a failure at any point so we're getting clearly the graphics cards kicking on which is a really good sign it's the problem is is that we're getting no display so let's just make sure we connected everything correctly i'm going to unplug this and i'm just going to just reseat this graphics card uh, make sure this connector's on firmly because yeah because the cable's still working because the fans are kicking on it's just they're not talking to each other. oh there we go it was literally the plug the whole time. Motherfucker. So, boot manager over here. Hold on, let me adjust the camera. Boot manager, bada bing. Freaking cables, man. I think it's just loose, this fucking cheap Chinese thing. I can't believe he charged $42 for this thing now. When I bought it, it was 35 bucks. It's such a fragile cable. All right, so what's happening right now, what we should see is we should boot into the OS, Steam OS clone from Chimera, and it should pop up on this display right here, and it didn't, so that's a problem. So let's try it again. Let's try it again. There's no one breathed on that cable. I've got display here, I've got the logo, and then the logo, and then everything transfers over here, which is the sucky part. Okay, that's not a good sign. That means that blue screen just means that this thing lost signal. That means it's gonna kick on here. All right, so it's not software or hardware when it comes to the graphics card. I think we resolved that situation. I think the real issue is why the, the OLED Steam Deck does not want to offload its video to this graphics card. And it might be a driver issue. It's typically probably a BIOS issue um, that's hindering it from passing data that way let me think what else can we try off the cuff to see if we can get this to work because ultimately this is my goal i love this screen i want this screen to be the one outputting ultra quality settings that's my ultimate goal so the question is why can't we get this to work so here's what we're going to do we're going to do a quick test we're going to go into desktop mode the steam deck oled does not like this mod whatsoever so we lost display there I think we're pretty much locked up here on the Steam Deck. See if we can get it to pop up the menu. I think we're completely locked up now. Oh boy, it did not like that. All right, let's power it back down. Let's just, f for the hell of it, let's try it one more time. There could be a multitude of things could be the issue. I don't think it's anything hardware per se, especially with this whole system. I think everything has to do with maybe software. Uh, when we talk about software, we're talking about BIOSes for the Steam Deck. I could try to roll back the BIOS on this one. We're over here, by the way. I just want to try it one more time. See, everything is working fine until we try to post into the system. So we even get the Steam Deck logo on here. And then if this thing turns blue, we know that the video feed cut out. It would lead me, there you go. So it cut out, now it's gonna pop on here. That would lead me to believe that it's something when it comes to the Steam Deck tucking in a graphics card, this one in particular, they don't get along very well. So what's happening is it's kicking out. Until I figure out a type of fix, I think this video is pretty much over. This is a big, f it's, a, it's a failure for the most part. You know, we didn't do what we wanted to do. We were able to get Chimera working on here, which I didn't think was going to be a problem whatsoever. I think they even said on their website that another thing is the internet doesn't work on this device because uh, the Wi-Fi card doesn't work. So I don't know what it's installing here. Um, I'm going to plug it into Ethernet real quick. Okay, we're like locked up again. This APU really hates what I'm doing to it, like a lot. All right, I think that's enough messing around with this thing. So. What did we learn today, guys? We learned that there's something going on here on the Steam Deck OLED that is not happening on the LCD over there that's hindering us from using an external graphics card. I will further tinker on this off camera if this video ever comes out. We're probably gonna make this video come out. I cut a hole in my Steam Deck, so we at least gotta make a video out of it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to figure out what's going on here. First thing I'm gonna do is reassemble that Steam Deck to see if we can get it running. 
on this setup again reason why guys sticky tape is the way to go look at this just pull it off sticky tape is not that come on yeah it's not that expensive either i think i got that roll for ten dollars and i've been using it for a year um and i still have half a roll left so we're going to pull this oculink port up we're going to reassemble this this oled um not really that big of a hack job we cut a hole there it's not a big deal and then we're going to reassemble it oh i cut it and make sure it still works on the lcd steam deck but all right that's enough for this video guys it didn't work but we learned something i guess nope video is not over a thought to me occurred as i was unscrewing this thing we should try this thing on windows before we um abandoned ship fans kicked on there we should still see the boot menu in there we don't we know the connection's bad all right so we're in the boot menu over here and then we're gonna go to boot manager and we should see this one the sabrinth and then we're gonna hit that button oh there we go oh man it's just chimera it's software so this I'll, I'll real quick guys as long as everything works correctly it doesn't really help the cause whatsoever so nope the signal cut out there is something up with this steam deck that it does not want to offload to an external display it should just boot into windows but our screen cut out now we're we're here again i'm gonna give it a minute everything should just work just fine is it just the oled steam deck is just different can we not mod the oled steam deck valve know that i was gonna do this I'm sure it's like some type of BIOS thing. I'm, maybe if we can roll back this BIOS to like the first gen BIOS. It should just post no problem. But there's just something about this that it does not like. Well, alright. So I'm just going to put everything back together. At re-end this video. I was hoping that was going to work. Clearly it didn't work. We will revisit this topic on a later date. But the good thing is it still works great with the LCD. Most of you guys have the LCD Steam Deck. So keep rocking OG LCDs. Uh, let's power this thing off and let's put it back together.